Are you looking to buy a home? And one question that keeps swirling around like a tornado is, is it worth buying right now or should you wait for the rates to drop and potentially have to deal with a boatload of competition? Stick around, we're gonna explain it right after this. If this is your first time to the Living in New Jersey channel, please feel free to click on the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first people to be alerted to amazing videos like this. My name is Matthew Williamson. I'm a realtor here in New Jersey, and we get emails and calls and texts and all kinds of stuff from buyers like you. Some people are like, we saw you on YouTube, and we're like, yeah, you're watching our video. But we get all kinds of communication from you all, and we keep track of the questions and the phone calls. And today, we're gonna talk about something that is really uh, a, a big conversation right now. Huge. Huge conversation. But before we get into it, I'm gonna let my boss man here introduce himself. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Brian DeVito. I'm a senior vice president with Mortgage Lending. Been in the business about 20 years. That's excellence, folks. 20 years of expertise. Is that how the French say that? Expertise, perhaps? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not French. But the conversation that comes around, and I'm sure when I say this, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, like, yeah, it makes sense, is regardless of what the rates are, no one wants to pay interest. Everybody's always looking for lower interest, lower interest, lower interest, lower in It's almost like tax. No one really wants to pay tax. I hate taxes. I hate tax. Like when I buy a candy bar, I don't want to pay tax. Um, that's ridiculous. But I digress. It's interest. You don't want to pay it. So you're always looking for a lower number. So when rates are sort of all over the place and you're looking for a home and you're trying to figure out your payments and all that, sort of the question is, trying to time the market, which is almost impossible by the way, is as far as the math goes, is it better to buy at a higher rate to get the house that you want? Or do you say, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna kind of gamble. I'm gonna wait for the rates to drop to buy the same house to get the lower payment, but the trade-off there is competition. How potentially does that work out? Which way is the better way to go? And you can quickly kind of break it down as to using some funny numbers, right? I say funny numbers, dummy numbers, just easy generic numbers to kind of show you what that could potentially look like. Brian will tell us. Yeah, so let's just say, for instance, if you were looking to borrow $500,000 at a rate today of 7.5%, that payment is $3,495 a month. And as Matt said, what if we maybe wait a year what if rates are you know, going to come down to 6.5%? If we waited a year, rates came down to 6.5%, chances are you're not paying $500,000 for that house. Maybe you got to pay $550,000, $600,000. You know, if it was a 6.5% rate and the home price was $600,000, that monthly payment would be $3,798. So it's more expensive by waiting. I think, you know, I'd buy the house now because the rate's a temporary thing. Rates will come down. We don't know if it's going to take six months, a year, six years, but it's always better to buy the home at the cheaper price with the higher rate because you're not marrying the rate. You're marrying the house. You're dating the rate. So I agree with that. That's well said. And look, that might sound like, yeah, well, it's our money, guys. You know, that sounds like a magnet that you put on your refrigerator, you know, save the date and marry the... But, but it is true. It, it is and I know that that is a, I don't want to call it contentious, right? Maybe you've had some heated debates with your fellow realtor, right? Your fellow real estate professional. Maybe you've had some heated slight debates with your lending officer because you're basically saying, you know, I don't want to be forced into a house. I'm not going to bite off more than I can chew. We agree with you. We don't want you to be home broke either, but we do also want you to be understanding of what that actual market looks like to say, hey, I'm waiting for the rates to drop. You have to understand, you can do that. You can wait, you can. As long as you have the right expectation that so are the other 42,000 buyers saying the same thing. So I think that's right English. I think I worded it correctly. My mom's an English teacher. Sorry, mom, if I misworded all of that. But basically, you're gonna jump into a market where there's a flood of buyers. So yes, that house that was the perfect house for you. You were like, oh my God, I love this house. And yes, the payment was higher than what you really wanted because the rate is higher. There was no competition. You got the home for ask. Maybe you got a seller concession. Maybe you got stuff from the seller, right? Like maybe you got a pretty good deal. And when the rate drops down to six and a half, guess what? You got your house refinanced after you've been in it six or seven months, right? Refinance alone. Otherwise, the trade-off is the home that you wanted comes to market, rates are six and a half percent. You're like, yeah, my house, my low rate. I got it, baby. I'm making an offer. Yeah. 
guess what? You are the fourth offer of 172 other offers on that house. So the trade-off is you either pay an excessive amount over, which to be clear, 100 grand over asking, all day long we see that. Yeah. Oh, great. You might be like, that. that's lies. Y'all are lying. We're not, we're gospel truth. I wish there was some gospel music I could play. That'd be great. Gospel truth. Buyers doing 100 grand over, 150 grand over, and they still aren't winning. Like they're, yeah. they're still losing it's out. It's crazy. It's crazy. So that is something we just wanted to touch base with you on. You know, quick video here to say, all right, time in the market. Now I'm going to wait. Now I'm a this, that, and the other as a home buyer. As a home buyer, you got one goal. One. You don't have 12 goals. You got one. One goal. That is get to the closing table. Because otherwise, you're waiting in line. You're a home searcher online. You're a prospective home buyer. All that stuff ain't home ownership. One other thing too, I uh, include, sorry to cut you They're off, good. but um, I want to say about like 35% of the purchase transactions right now are first time home buyers. So by waiting, people are just going to get older. You know, somebody that's maybe, I don't know, 27 years old today, say rates come down in two years. Now they're 29. They may be in a position to buy a home. So, you know, as time passes, people get older. You're going to have those people jump into the market as well, aside from the people that are waiting for rates to come down. So, so you've got like, after what I just said, you, you, you're snowballing. Like yeah, you got more and more and more people jumping now, in the market. Buy now, you know, because you can always refinance. That is the message here. You said it best, sir. Buy now. Get the house now. Get the home you really want. When rates come down, refinance. Yeah. And like Matt said, you know, we don't want you to get anything that you're not comfortable with. But that's one of the things that we, uh, you know, that we're going to go through when you get pre-approved. What are you comfortable paying per month? Is it two thousand, three thousand, four thousand? You know, if the house is going to cost you fifty five hundred a month, and you only want to spend four grand, we know that that home's not for you. But yeah. if we can get that home, and maybe you are comfortable paying four thousand, and the payment's thirty nine hundred, who cares what the rate is? The rate's a temporary thing. You know, when rates come down, you could refinance. So you said it best, sir. You're a math whiz. I like math. Brian's great. <laughs> Brian's information and my information will be down below. Feel free to email us, call us, text us. Get in touch with us. Hey, sometimes I'll Zoom with people. We don't bite, maybe just a little. But either way, we want to help you. We want to give you right information. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for giving us some of your time. And we'll see you around the block. Have a great day. Take care.